At INSIN, the National Security Innovation Network, our mission is to build new networks of innovators to solve national security problems in new ways. We are dedicated to bringing together defense, academic, and entrepreneurial innovators. The alliance of these vital communities provides an arena for collaborative solutions to real-world security challenges. Virtualytics joined the NSEN network because the company saw an opportunity to put the knowledge of its high-powered data scientists and machine learning experts to work with the Department of Defense. CEO Michael Amori talks about who Virtualytics is and what the partnerships can do for the company. Virtualytics is a unique um, data analytics and data visualization platform that is based on over 10 years of research at Caltech and at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory. What we're trying to do is enable domain experts to find insights in their data. The partnership has, has been great because uh, Ensign has enabled us to connect with many different parts of the DoD that we would otherwise not even know existed. We can then find out a whole new universe of potential customers and a whole new universe of people who might really benefit from our solution. So they really are like kind of the great connectors. And I think in that sense, that's been very valuable. A partnership with Ensign also resonated with Virtualytics because the network stressed two major points, the prominent role of academic institutions and fueling the startup community. Virtualytics, with its origins as a spinoff from Caltech, the California Institute of Technology, and the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, exemplifies the huge potential for innovation at the intersection of academia and venture communities, as well as how Ensign can leverage solutions coming out of the nation's top universities. About four years ago, at a Caltech alumni event, I met Professor Jurgoski, who is the head of the astronomy department at Caltech. He's also the founder of the Big Data Center at Caltech. And he showed me the research that he had been doing, combining AI with 3D visualization and with virtual reality to really understand his own data. I was really uh, intrigued by what he was doing. At the time, I was working on Wall Street. I was head of a large trading desk and using a lot of data science as part of what I was doing. And I thought that what he was working on really made a lot of sense. And through him, I met the key guy, Chiro, who was spearheading um, this initiative at Caltech, and he became our CTO. I also met Scott Davidoff, who runs the team at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory that created Virtual Mars for the Mars rover. And with all of these guys, we decided to start a company. Since partnering with Ensign, Virtualytics has achieved significant growth and also experiencing other benefits of the network. One of the great benefits is that it allows the people from our company to work shoulder to shoulder with uh, DOD people on real life problems, understanding what's really important to them. And, and this is really important, together with them, trying to figure out how to solve these problems. The value to Virtualytics comes in the fact that we are exposed to um, a much bigger set of potential customers, a much bigger set of potential use cases, and, and that of course is very valuable to the company. We also understand better the perspective of the DoD. So if we want to become someone who really helps the DoD solve some big problems, it's important for us to really understand the perspectives of a wide variety of people within the DoD. And Ensign allows us to understand the perspectives of many different uh, parts of the DoD. For Virtualytics, being part of the Ensign network isn't just important to its business development today. Amori sees it as a part of the company's plan for future growth in the form of opportunities to work on the emerging needs of those who serve in the defense of our national security. I see several things. One is having Ensign uh, continue to educate us on what are the potential use cases within the DoD for the kind of technology that we're developing. 
and also uh, helping steer us towards how we develop this technology going forward. So given the needs that are out there, given the call to action from the, from the DOD, how should our technology change over time to meet that call to action? And I think Ensign can basically be seen as a great intermediary between startups such as ourselves and the DOD.